Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Got another unboxing video for you. This is another buck knife in my little epic buck knife unboxing series where I bought five buck knives, four from eBay, one from Buck. This is the one directly from Buck. And yeah, I already took it out of the box because that was taped up with a security tape or tamper evident tape pain in the butt to open save some time i have not opened this up yet but it is the buck knife's 50th anniversary 112 ranger so comes in the fancy box um the only other time i got a box like this was with a 110 sport so you got a sleeve stuff on the back this was made is that a 6 or an 8? looks like a 6. 620-2022. 50, 72. 50 years. Made in the USA. Forever warranty. Now these are only being made in 2022. I, I saw what they said. They'll honor any order for this knife that's made in 2022 so if you make it December 31st of this year you'll still be able to get it and yeah nice magnetic box nice presentation on these special editions um, you can read the top established 1902 Got a sheath, the standard black leather sheath made in Mexico. These are very well made sheaths. I like them. I have a couple and they're holding up excellent. So that's the sheath. Uh, get in. Got a certificate authenticity 112 Ranger 50th anniversary edition. And you can take a screenshot of that if you want. Pause it, read it. Um, nothing on the back. Let's get these other two out. These look like standard cards you get with most knives. You get the message from the Buck family. Again, you can pause if you want to read it. On the back. Famous Forever Warranty. You can check that out. And this one. Just tells about natural markings. Especially on the wood. You know, wood grain's different. Um, when we make handles out of natural products, you will find nature's own brand, brand marks. So, basically, because they kind of getting a one of a kind and got some little paper in there and then let's pull this knife out let's get this box and stuff out of the way and I'll do that later but yeah comes in this little little pouch Got the Buck logo, Anvil logo right there. Nice little pouch. Now, I don't have safe queens, but this one I may not use and abuse. I may carry it once in a great while. So, it'll probably go back in this bag. Everything will go back in that box for a while. But yeah, let's check this out. Wow. This thing is cool looking. The brass bolsters, brass liner frame there. Got the 50 year shield on here. That's nice. That's inset just a little bit. Boy, fit and finish on the back is excellent. Along the back, back spring. Nice. Blade centering is 
dead center. Yeah. Check the blade out. Oh. This is the second knife I bought from them where I got crap out of it. So, let me just check down in there. Yeah, it's a little bit dirty. Boy, they need to do a little better job cleaning their knives before they ship them out. But yeah, classic clip point blade. This is 420 HC steel with a boss heat treat. Check the tag out. Got the 50 inside the anvil. Buck USA. Awesome. I mean, what else can you say about the Buck 112 that everyone doesn't know? I really like the 112 size. My hand fits excellent. Clip point blade. Nice hollow grind. The edge looks excellent. The bevels are even. Um, get my old piece of paper. Boy, I need to bring a new piece of paper back here. That is... That is crazy, crazy sharp. Look at that. Got a little curly cube going on out of printer paper. Nice. Yeah. I just, I am just obsessed with buck knives, especially the 110s and the 112s. And, yeah. I wanted to get the 50th anniversary one. You can see back here in the lock, there's some crud. I'm going to have to blow it out, compressed air like I did the clip point, which, um, what did I do? What did I do with it? Well, here's the 112 Slim Select, and here's the 112 Drop Point, which I've carried this quite a bit, used it quite a bit, um, absolutely dig it, <clears throat> came with a sheath just like this one, carried on my belt, no issues, they're a little bit heavy, obviously, we don't know, 112's weigh about 5.6 ounces, this version of it, this one, Obviously, FR and scales, no steel liners, um, thin, a lot lighter. But yeah, I don't. I didn't think my collection of buck knives would be. <coughs> pardon me. Be complete without getting the 50th anniversary model of the 112, and yeah, like I said. I don't have safe cleans, but this this one's going to be the closest um, I come to having a safe clean. I'll definitely carry and use it, but I'm not going to abuse it. Um, in fact, I might put it right back in the box for a while. Uh, the lock pin, or the pin for the back lock sticks out a little bit more. I mean, they do general anyways, like on this one also. This cheap model, these run like 25, 30 bucks. You can find them. They don't stick out. Um, the brass pins, nice. I mean, they stick out a little bit, but not bad. You can see how much... The silver pin for the back lock does stick out. Um, see some crud right here. Look at that. It's funny. 
my this one came decent the my 110 drop point had a lot of crap in it also in fact compare the sizes to the one one tens there's a standard one I bought this off eBay um, here's the drop point version so yeah I'll probably put a brass thumb stud on this one also because I just like the thumb studs for one hand opening changes the whole dimension of these knives um, but yeah I guess that is it as far as this is concerned um, definitely be on the lookout I'll do follow up videos on all these buck knives either comparing them after I use them I'll do a full review um, one I carried I carried this buck 112 sport for an entire month over a month this has S30V steel for the blade. Absolutely fell in love with this thing. Um, it's still sharp. I The S30V steel, I like S30V. Has plenty of knives with that steel. But Bucks Boss Heat Treat. I don't know what it makes it, you know, makes it into because... It is so much better. Never took a chip out of this. Never damaged that tip. Loved it. But. When I got. This. I'm like. Well I like the size of that. For EDC. And then I got. The drop point which. I absolutely dig it I dig this drop point that beefy the robust tip on there you can see the difference in the tips a lot of difference in the tips yeah I really like the 112s and this is basically a 112 it just has the shield 50 50 year shield right here and the uh, stamping on the blade is different. It's got the 50 inside the anvil. And it just says Buck USA. No date code dots or symbols or anything. Because um, you can easily figure out what year it was when it was the 50th anniversary. But yeah, overall this thing's sweet looking. Loving it. Just needs a little bit of cleaning. Come on, Buck. Clean your knives a little better. But yeah, I guess that'll do it for this video. Quick unboxing. Be on the lookout for more videos. I got quite a collection of Buck knives happening. And do the usual like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. And until the next video, bye.